Hey pharmacist! Today we're doing a full rundown on the medication amlodipine. We're going to be covering these five areas using patient-friendly language to help you counsel patients who are starting amlodipine for the very first time. Number one, indication. Amlodipine is an oral medication used to treat high blood pressure. This is important because reducing blood pressure can help to prevent future heart disease, heart attacks, and strokes. Amlodipine is also used to help manage chronic stable angina, which is chest pain caused by reduced blood flow to the heart muscles. Number two, mechanism of action. Amlodipine is a calcium channel blocker. The simplest way to explain how this works is that normally calcium enters the cells of hearts and arteries through certain channels to cause these blood vessels to contract and squeeze more strongly. By blocking the entry of calcium, it helps blood vessels to relax and widen, which lowers blood pressure. This is great for patients with hypertension. For patients with angina, this mechanism of relaxing and widening blood vessels reduces the workload on the heart and makes it easier for the blood to flow through the body. That means that the heart gets more oxygen-rich blood, which can ease chest pain caused by angina. Number three, how to take it. Amlodipine comes as a tablet with three strengths and is taken once daily. Patients can take it at any time of the day with or without food, but they should take it around the same time each day. If your patient misses a dose, they should take it as soon as they remember. However, if it's been more than 12 hours, then advise your patient to skip the missed dose and simply take the next dose at its regular time. Remind patients to avoid driving and doing other tasks or actions that call for them to be alert until they see how this medication affects them. Advise patients to rise slowly if they've been sitting or lying down to lower the chance of feeling dizzy or falling. Number four, side effects. The most common side effects of amlodipine include headaches, tiredness, stomach pain, nausea, dizziness, flushing, and edema or swollen ankles. Let's talk about peripheral edema for a second because it tends to be a common reason why patients stop taking the medication. The reason it's believed to happen is because amlodipine makes the smaller blood vessels wider. This makes more blood flow through them, which can put extra pressure on these tiny vessels. Sometimes this pressure can cause some of the fluid inside the vessels to leak out and go into nearby tissues. When fluid builds up in the lower parts of the body, like the ankles and the feet, it causes swelling. Now this is dose dependent, meaning it usually occurs with higher doses of amlodipine. Thus, if it persists, then a dose reduction may be necessary, or even adding on another hypertensive like an ACE inhibitor, if it's appropriate, could help with this symptom. If your patient suddenly experiences swollen ankles later on while taking amlodipine, then screen for drug interactions that may be interacting with amlodipine and causing higher levels of the drug in the body, which we'll get to next. Number five, drug interactions. Here's a list of drugs that can interact with amlodipine, amongst others. Amlodipine is primarily broken down by the enzyme CYP3A4. Anything that interferes with this can affect levels of amlodipine in the body, so be mindful of that. Well, that's a quick overview into amlodipine. I hope this was helpful for your practice. If you have any other medications you'd like me to review, please include them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time. Bye, pharmacist!